What's up design family and welcome back to another episode of Fit Design TV. So glad to have you guys back on the channel. On today's episode, we'll be looking at another brand spotlight. We'll be looking at why I believe Young LA is dominating as a fashion brand in 2022 and will continue to dominate in 2023. I've done a separate video in the past where I've covered the brand Alphalete, and now we're doing Young LA. Why am I doing these? Well, I believe that as entrepreneurs, we can all learn from the successes of each other. And there's a lot to highlight with this brand. So if you're interested in what makes this brand special, what they're employing from a design, marketing, launch schedule perspective, and what you can learn from that and gain from that, well, watch this episode. You guys are about to find out. What's up, design family? And welcome to Fit Design TV. So glad to have you here. On this channel, we discuss all things sports, fashion, graphic design, manufacturing, and technology. We'll discuss key topics, answer pressing questions, and provide actionable steps on starting your own product line. If you're interested in any of the above topics, stick around. You're in for a good one. So why is Young LA dominating? Number one is that they move extremely fast as a company. You'll notice that this brand has frequent launches. They're pretty much launching new collections every single month. This shows me that they actually take decisions extremely fast. If you watched this channel before, you know I advocate taking decisions quickly and learning from the mistakes when they do arise. This is the prime example of a company that is always evolving, always adapting, moving quick, taking decisions both on the front end and the back end that are meant to propel their business forward. You see this in every aspect of their business, whether it's their marketing, whether it's their product design, or whether it's how they continuously update their collections and what they have on offer. Take decisions quickly. Number two on the list is that they focus on building social credit. What does this mean? You guys will know that every single business relies on good word of mouth in order to propagate its success. And Young LA is no different when it comes to that. But they do this in a slightly different way. They focus on all aspects of social credit, whether it's through customer reviews, whether it's through working with influencers, whether it's through traditional grapevine sort of reviews, people speaking about the brand. They focus on showcasing that others have bought from the brand and using that proof as to why you should as well. If you go on their website, they heavily feature their review section, making it clear what products are in demand and actually showing you customers that have actually bought these products. And typically these reviews will come with photos so that you can see these customers in the different types of clothing. And this just helps to build social credit. You see others communicating and you see others purchasing from this brand and you want to as well. One thing to note as well is that they actually also focus on user generated content. For example, if you go on their Instagram and you search their tagged photos, they are heavily tagged. They propagate the use of their tags. They propagate the use of other people in their clothes and actually encourage them to take photos, to share those photos on social media. And again, all this does, it creates a tribe like mentality and it encourages people to get into the brand. It encourages people to see average regular people engaging and purchasing from the brand and makes you want to do the same as well. Number three, they are a heavily value based brand. So Young LA has actually positioned themselves in what I would consider to be the lower to mid tier of pricing when it comes to how they price their items and how they actually generate the value and the quality of their pieces. If you look at a lot of the pieces that are on their website, they're not competing with the Lululemons or with the Rones of the sportswear and the activewear space. What they're doing is they're offering very well-branded clothing at a great value and a great price point. If you look at some of their hoodies, they range from 40 to 55, which I definitely believe is on the lower end, especially to the value that they're offering, the types of fabrics they're using, the trendy cuts, how they advertise them. All of these things that you're getting for such a lower price point is a major plus. You'd want to buy a Young LA hoodie versus a Dress for Less or a Ross hoodie because it has that brand associated with it. At the same time, their shirts are between 15 and 30, which again is on the mid to lower end. And lastly, their joggers are on the 35 to 50 dollar end, which again is definitely a value based price point. They're not trying to sell you as a super hyper luxury brand. They know who they are and they try to maintain their pricing within that range. Yes. They will have some limitations in that degree, but what they do have is accessible, affordable clothes that are non-intimidating for new customers to try and to get into. 
Number four, and this relates to number one, which is they're actually not afraid to try new things. They're a brand that is very conscious about the need to consistently evolve and to try out new product segments and to actually try out new things that they might not have tried out before. Some great examples of this are their new Young LA for Her collection, as well as the Young LA for Kids or the Little Young LA collections. What this shows me as a consumer and as a designer, as a business person, is that this is a brand that is not afraid to try to take different avenues, different approaches, to try different product segments, as long as it meshes within their core brand structure. If these product segments don't work out, what they've done is they've explored that space and this has given them an additional data point to tell them what works for their brand and what doesn't work for the brand. This may be scary, especially when you've actually come up with a winning formula, but it is necessary. It's necessary to be able to continuously evolve, to try to carve out a new direction for the brand because that is what's going to take you from point B to point C. What took you from point A to point B is not necessarily what's going to take you from point B to point C, so on and so forth. Number five, they are an extremely community focused brand and one that actually has a heavy focus on the younger generation, Gen Z. So the way that they engage and interact with their audience, if anyone has been on TikTok or watched any Instagram reels, they will know that Young LA is a brand that heavily focuses its marketing efforts in the age ranges of 18 to 24. And that's why they have to keep their price point quite low. What they understand is that this demographic of customers, though they have the least amount of disposable funds and income to be able to spend on products, these are the types of customers that they want two, three, four, five years down the line. So these are the customers that are going to carve out the growth of the brand in the next four to five years. They're sowing the seeds for the success down the line. Number six, Young LA is a brand that consistently aims to offer variety and freshness in their product ranges by continuously updating their collections, updating their websites, updating what they have on offer. It's very, very rare to be able to look at a Young LA website week in, week out and not see significant changes in terms of what they're offering on their website. They're a brand that makes decisions fast and they're also continuously renewing the freshness of the brand. This is going to keep customers coming back time and time again. And at the same time, if you're a loyal customer, it's going to give you something to want to purchase, even though you might have made a purchase a week before, two weeks before. So there's always something fresh and always something new. Number seven, Young LA as a visual brand in terms of how they visually represent themselves across their branding assets, their website, their photography styles is quite a simple and straightforward brand at its core. They know who they are. And yes, they're not afraid to try different things, to try different graphic styles, to try different core demographic groups, but at their very, very base, they don't really deviate too far from this lifestyle streetwear aesthetic with a gym-based background. They really try to maintain themselves within that sphere and to try to cultivate a customer base within that demographic. Well guys, that is it. That is a wrap on this episode in terms of why I personally believe that Young LA is currently dominating the sportswear, streetwear, casualwear space and why I believe that they'll actually continue to do so into 2023. So hopefully you guys have learned a thing or two, can actually use this as inspiration for your own brand. Let me know which of these seven key points that I mentioned that you believe contribute the most to their success and which you are personally most interested in in terms of carrying forward into your own business. Guys, also, I offer one-on-one -on -one consultations for new brands, old brands, pretty much any brand that is looking to scale and to take it to the next level. I can help you with a ton of things ranging from logistics, manufacturing, design, scaling your business, both internally and externally. So if you're a larger business and you have a company hierarchy, how do you sort of structure teams? How do you create a hierarchy, a chain of command? This is definitely something I can help you with. I've created it in my own business and I continue to consult for the largest brands that are in the sportswear and activewear space. So if you guys are interested, check the link in the description. I offer limited slots every single week, so act fast. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in to this episode of Fit Design TV. Until next week's episode, stay awesome.